Hello everybody, welcome to Red Tool House. On this video, I wanna talk about can you really make money raising broiler chickens on less than one acre? So let's dive into it. Well, as always, I'm behind schedule on doing some of my uh, season ending chores. You can see I still have the chicken tractors here and uh, I, haven't, I haven't put them in a winter position, haven't even taken the waters in yet. But in scheduling to do this, I can think of this would be a good time to review or to at least share with you all what happened when we raised 100 broilers this year for not only our own consumption, but for resale. The previous year, we had raised 24 broilers. We actually raised some uh, uh, Freedom Rangers and some Cornish Cross to kind of do a test there to see which ones worked out best for us. I can uh, link to that video here. But this time, we wanted to raise 100 Cornish Cross some for sale and some for our own personal consumption. So the goal with, you know, we've had a little bit of rain here lately. So the goal with, the, with doing the chickens, of course, was to raise enough for a year supply for us to get us uh, from mid spring, late or early summer, all the way around again. And to also hopefully raise enough money to cover our feed costs. We'll step in here and uh, take down my water. So that was the plan. Could, could I break even, or actually could I just cover my feed cost first and foremost, or could I even break even covering the cost of not only my feed, but also the cost of the chickens and uh, material to build our chicken tractors. So what exactly were all of our costs? Well, let's break them down over here. So to look at the cost, I'm going to go to my handy dandy notebook. I've talked about this in the past, but I usually keep this. It's just a cheap little spiral bound notebook that I keep with me. If I don't have it on my person, I keep it in the side by side, but it allows me to track everything. I keep my uh, hog schedule, breeding schedule in here, chicken details, anything basically notes on the homestead. That way I can come back to them. So if I consult my notes here, what were my upfront costs? Well, up front, we had the chicken tractor cost. So um, I'd already had one of these made for last year, but I'm going to go ahead and put the cost of that in this assessment uh, because I didn't factor that in last year. But uh, so three chicken tractors, the two here with the blue tarp and then the green one over there is actually the one that's two years old. But all in all, out of pocket for all three of those, about 150 bucks in supplies, material and supplies. Now again, some of that material I already had, um, so maybe just be a little bit more. And that was based off uh, John Siskovich's book, uh, Stress-Free Chicken Tractor Plans, which um, I'll link to that down in the description below. So $150 there. And then, of course, we had to purchase the chickens. Well, my chickens were out of pocket, shipping and everything, were $132.05. And I got those from Duncan's Poultry. We did a video about that as well. Um, I'll link to it here. And my final cost startup were the waterers. Now I did go with these um, bell waters as an extra expense. Of course, you could just go with a nipple water and you'd be fine. Uh, but I wanted this to be a little bit less maintenance. Um, I really like these bell waters, so I went ahead and invested in those. And those are $45 plus shipping. Yeah, let's call it an even, even 50 for all three of them, or an even 50 per water. So that's another 150 bucks there. So those were my expenses out of the out of pocket. Okay, so uh, again, we've referenced this in other videos, and I'm probably going to run out of links to reference to. But how big of an area did we use to raise these 100 chickens? Well, I just use this area right here where you see these two tractors. From from about halfway down that where that red trailer is, to all the way off camera, just my left about 50 feet to all the way here in front of this kind of at the end of this road is actually just a half acre and again if you made it a, a full rectangle a 100 by 200 rectangle then it even incorporates past the camera where Liam is part of the driveway part of the creek across the hill so it's not even a full half acre and I just used a portion of that so in theory I raised a hundred chickens in three chicken tractors on even less than a half acre. Now again, we'll just for the sake of, of making it make sense, we'll say half acre just for any margin of error there. Do, 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 do. 
so if you've if you're familiar with Joel Salatin at all, which everybody at this point should, he has his book that is Pastured Poultry Profits. It's been out for a long time. Bit of a tongue twister when my lips are cold. But it's been out for a long time, and of course he details how you can raise um, up to you can net his book says you can net twenty five thousand dollars in six months on twenty acres of land just raising pasture poultry is that true well possibly not so obviously our our next really biggest expense was our feed costs how much money did we have tied up in feed well the first thing we wanted to do we wanted to use non-gmo feed we weren't yet going to organic but we we're going to go non-gmo previous year we had just used conventional broiler feed so we wanted to go non-gmo this time so that of course added to the expense so what i ended up buying over the course of that um, the eight week plus window that we had the chickens i had three different purchases of feed i started off with 22 percent starter feed that was non-GMO, it was $17.45 a bag. I bought six bags of those, 50 pound bags, for $104.70. Next purchase I had to make, obviously as the chickens got bigger, got them out on pasture, out of the, out of the brooder. Then we switched to a, um, a grower, a non-GMO grower, and that was $15.70 per 50 pound bag. So I spent $188.40 there buying 12 bags. And then my last purchase was 15 bags again at the price had dropped or the price had gone up a little bit, $15.85 per bag, 50 pound bag, and that was $237.75. So my total out of pocket for feed was $530.85. Ooh, yuck. It's got some old feed in it. This tractor is the fun one because this is the one we did some egg layers in, so it has roosting bars that you have to climb over. <laughs> oh, every time this thing takes my hat off okay so fast forward through our time of raising the broilers and it was time for processing so with processing the thing that really made this viable for us here on the homestead was our ability to rent really nice processing equipment and I wanted to factor that into the cost as well so we had, and again, I've done a video about this, yet, yet another reference. If I run out of references to point to, then I'll list them down in the description. I think YouTube only allows me to do so many. So there's this nonprofit that's local called Refresh Appalachia that lets us rent this processing equipment. And it's actually pretty cheap. It's about, I think, $155 or $160, $160, somewhere around in there. And that includes a deposit. So if you return the equipment clean, you get $50 deposit back. So my total out of pocket on that for using that equipment was like 105 bucks, which way, way paid for itself. But of course it was an additional expense. So we got all the chickens processed. We got them bagged up. We got them labeled. We got them ready. We met all the requirements we needed to in our state to be able to resell these chickens for profit. So knowing we wanted to sell half of them uh, to try to recoup some of our costs and of course keep the other half for consumption, uh, that was our target going forward when we were promoting with our, our friends and family and, and customers that, hey, we have non-GMO whole chickens available for $4 a pound. Who wants in? Well, over the course of about three or four weeks, we sold 43 chickens, uh, all of those at the cost of $4 a pound. And our average weight on our chickens was about 6.2 pounds. So they came in in great, great weight. We were really happy with that. Um, the total gross of those 43 chickens sold was $1,072.88. Now I should go back and preface, we really only finished 85 chickens. Throughout the course of the process, we lost 15. So that, of course, cut into my profit margin. There's 15 chickens that I purchased, started to feed, and throughout the course of this cycle, they, they died. So our gross in sales for 43 chickens, as I mentioned, was $1,072.88. So when we add up our total costs here, we had our feed costs of $530.85, the cost of purchasing the chickens, $132.05, and the cost of the processing equipment, $115. Now, obviously, in that processing day, we had some help from friends, and they didn't charge us anything. I didn't have to pay them. So you may not always have that situation, and I can't always rely on, I can't say I can't always rely on my friends. I can always rely on my friends, but I can't 
uh, ask them every single time to do this to do this for free. That's not fair to them. So that total out of pocket was $777.90. So you see in that difference there, we're almost exactly $300 profit. And if I factor in the cost of the chicken tractor materials, $150, and the water, another $150, that's $300. So I'm pretty much break even there, a little bit of loss. But of course, the chicken tractors and those waters are going to last a lot longer, especially if I get them out of the freezing weather, are going to last a lot longer than just one batch of chickens. So that's infrastructure costs that we can depreciate over time and spread that cost out. So what's really neat in looking at this is we were able to raise 85 chickens, finish 85 chickens, sell half of those and keep half of those back. And it really cost us, you know, maybe 20 bucks, less than hundred bucks out of pocket uh, because we almost broke even on all this. So if you look at that and say, well, what about, what if I had sold the other 42 chickens instead of keeping those to eat? What if I sold those other 42? What kind of profit are we looking at there? Well, if you figure out the average sell price of the chicken based upon our weights, and the amount of money we, we got out of the 43, if you use that same equation into the 42, then we had, that was $24.95 was the average cost of chicken. So doing that math, if we, were sold, if we sold the remaining 42, that would have been $1,047.90. Put that on top of the $1,072.88 we already made, and you have $21.20.78. And again, still with out-of-pocket expense of a little around $1,000 with infrastructure included. So yeah, that, that would have been a nice little tidy profit. Now the big caveat, the big thing that's missing there, of course, is my labor. I had to move these chicken tractors every day, obviously load feed, unload feed, and then of course a full day of processing. So when you factor in that labor, maybe you'd be break even. But this shows that this can be very scalable. We only did 100 chickens and we did that on half an acre. So if we can scale that up, it can definitely become more profitable. Now you're not necessarily going to sell every single chicken. There's definitely enough profit margin in there to keep some back for yourselves or even have to do it at a reduced sell price as you get closer to your inventory uh, running low. I also want to take this time to mention, you know, we, did a, we did an announcement in November. We were giving away a coat and December 1st we drew names from our email newsletter list and Evelyn V from Murphy, North Carolina won the coat. So uh, we're going to ship that out to Evelyn. Appreciate her uh, participating, appreciate everybody participating and being on our email newsletter list. If uh, you want to find out more information about that and what our email newsletter list is, go to redtoolhouse.com. And again, in typical YouTube fashion, they continue to change things and tweak things on the channel. If you're not discovering our videos as they come out, uh, make sure not only are you subscribed, but click that little bell icon and that'll just give you a little push notification that uh, we've got a new video out. We're trying to do videos every week Tuesday and Friday. That's kind of what we've been sticking to. I think we can stick with that going into 2019. All right, well, take care, everybody. So how did I do with... <laughs> okay, so to look at my cost, I'm going to go to my handy bin. <clears throat> he has his book, Stress-Free down my leg. Am I in the shot? Tell me when I am. Thumbs up me when I am. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey, go on. Can't keep my fat butt on this thing. <laughs> Alright. Hang on, that going it.